Okay, I'm rolling. Okay, you can just look at me. Okay. Okay, okay. First of all, we always ask your name. What's your name? How do you spell it? What's your title? Okay, I'm Mia Siochi. M-I-A, last name is spelled S as in Sam. I-O-C-H-I. Um, I'm the, uh, I guess the project lead for this specific project, which is very small. It's a small task within um, environmental and responsible aviation. Where we're looking at uh, low um, engineered surfaces to prevent bugs from sticking to our tanks. So your material scientist would be a good thing to call you? or Yes. Uh, we have a team of material scientists and working with aerodynamicists, uh, flow, flow physicists, to try to understand how we can design materials that will be effective for um, for aerodynamics. So what exactly are you doing here? So what we're doing here is we, um, the task is to design a surface that prevents insect residues from sticking. Okay, and the reason is um, that if you have any residue sticking, it trips the uh, airflow over it. So instead of laminar flow, you have turbulent flow. And when you have that, um, you, have, um, you have lower fuel efficiency. So we were given that problem, and what we did was go in the lab and look at it. First, we looked at commercial coatings that, you, that, that claim to, to be nonstick. Right? And so uh, in the lab, what we do is something called contact angle measurements. You put a bead of liquid and you measure how um, the angle that it makes with the surface. And for nonstick surfaces like Teflon, you have a bead that sits up, and so it's got a very high contact angle. So theoretically, that should prevent bugs from sticking, right? So we, we uh, take that measurement and we screen for surfaces that have high contact angles. And the first test we did in the lab was to shoot, um, shoot crickets at first and we switched to fruit flies to see if the surface is effective. For effective surfaces where we see little or no bug residue, we then um, scale up the test. We've done flight tests and we're also doing wind tunnel tests. So what, we're take, what we've done is go from materials development to materials testing in a simulated environment so that we can actually test the, F, um, the validity of the theory that when you engineer surfaces it prevents liquids from sticking. That's in a nutshell what we're doing. So, um, so are we going to have slippery wings in the future? How, will this kinda, how might this research be applied? Okay, so if this works, we can modify the surface of the leading edge, and we're actually introducing a little bit of roughness to it, uh, but not to the scale which would trip laminar flow. And it will prevent the bugs from sticking, will keep the surfaces smoother for longer, um, and hopefully they're durable enough so that we don't have to keep doing this. I mean, we have that they will, um, they will perform for long periods of time with very little maintenance. So what might um, this mean for airplane performance? Um, so we are trying to enhance fuel efficiency and depending on the size of the aircraft and the distance you're flying, it could be up to 30% in fuel savings, which is significant. So bugs currently impact fuel efficiency by 30%? Bugs is one of the factors that prevents laminar flow and laminar flow can influence um, fuel efficiency by up to 30%. So what we're doing is trying to use this as one of the set of technologies that ERA is testing to enhance laminar flow. So I would, never would have thought that bugs were such a big problem. How did you all know that bugs were such a big problem? Actually, it's been a problem for many years. When you look back in the literature, people have been trying to solve this problem for over 60 years. Uh, and in fact, <laughs> it was one of my, uh, it was my uh, thesis project. I'm not going to say how many years ago now. <laughs> but um, it was sponsored by the same branch that I'm working with right now, actually. Uh, and so at the time in the 80s when fuel efficiency was a huge concern, um, there, was, there was funding for this work, and then that went away. And then more recently when that uh, interest was revived, I think um, we're looking again at, at different ways to enhance fuel efficiency. So now, um, where do you get the bugs? Um, okay, we actually um, use flightless fruit flies and because we want to make sure that we have a uniform and controlled um, set of projectiles in essence, we actually purchase it from uh, commercially uh, and then we just feed it and keep it going. So uh, we, um, we've actually learned how to perpetuate fruit flies for our experiments. So what do you anticipate, any idea when we might see some of these coatings in, in action? Um, you know, um, typically um, 
materials take a long time to get from the um, concept to development. In this case, we're kind of accelerating that because we're actually testing in the real environment very quickly. Right? From concept to now testing, it's taken us so far about two years. And hopefully, we can get this in a demo in another couple of years. So how many coatings are you all looking at, and who's come up with these ideas? So we've uh, we started looking at commercial coatings just to make sure we're not missing any of what's already effective out there. And um, and between the commercial coatings we've looked at and new coatings or and surfaces that we've engineered and modified, we've looked at about 60 different uh, surfaces. The hope is that we can get the most effective surfaces down selected and, and develop further for, for application. And from that set, we're looking at perhaps down selecting to about three uh, that we could uh, investigate further. So what have you found so far that's amazed you about the bugs? <laughs> Um, well, um, the surfaces that we looked at, um, you know, typically people think that when, it, it, uh, when water doesn't stick to it, that, that is it's super hydrophobic, that it's effective. But what we found is that's not necessarily true because the mechanism that the bug residues have for adhering on the surface is actually different from water. Okay, so you have biological components there which undergo chemical reactions that make them sticky. Uh, and water doesn't do that. So we have to account for that. And so we're actually looking, looking into some of the biology uh, literature to try to design something that prevents a biological um, uh, constituents from sticking to aircraft wings. So I know it's early yet, but have you found some things that are pretty effective? We actually have found a couple of um, approaches to do this. So um, it's compositions that we, are, we developed here and, and combinations. So. We, we haven't uh, settled on the exact composition, but we're finding, we're finding some approaches that work. Okay. Through a small hole, so they go bam, 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 bam. Yeah, they can all. See what we have here. Well, actually, you raise them, so you just oh, take okay. them in a funnel and dump them into here. So uh huh. They don't. Um, yeah, they're not deer. Start to handle it. You're willing to let me do an interview. Keep them in the little cups.